Now for my next video, I'm going to do something a little artistic. It's not what I had planned for the next video, but I've got to get some material in, material in for the one I had in mind. I don't have uh, material wide enough for the pattern. So and I, I found this in this book. I think it's Artistic Scroll Saw Patterns by Patrick Spielman. I, I'll put the actual title, it's something like that, in the, in the description. So what it is, you got these uh, six horses to cut out, and you make a little sculpture of that thing, or a montage type thing you put on the wall. You have to have a backing board. I think I've got enough plywood, Baltic birch plywood, to do that. If not, I'm sure I can scrape up something else. But I saw this as an excellent opportunity to use up some scrap material, because it's just get pieces big enough to cut each one of these horses. So I've got six different pieces. I've got six different horses. And I'm going to cut them out of these, uh, seal them. I might have more than six there, but actually, yeah, I've got six. Okay, so got some mahogany, got some walnut, uh, two kinds of walnut. I got some ash, and it's some of the other stuff. I'm not sure right now what it is, but I'm going to mount these. Uh, this should be easy to cut. Uh, the the trick, big trick to this one is making it look good when you finish it. And uh, however you finish off the backing board, uh, make it to wall, hang on the wall or, or stand or whatever you do with it. I'll probably make this to hang on the wall. My wife was well into horses. Uh, she really liked horses when she was younger. And she was injured on one many, many years ago in college age. Uh, she always loved horses, but I never had an interest in owning a horse. I think they're wonderful creatures, but uh, it's very expensive. So anyway, I uh, thought this might be something for her if she likes it. If not, uh, I'll put it on my wall. But uh, I kind of like the way it looked, and like I say, good opportunity to use up some scrap. So let me get them mounted up and start cutting them and uh, see if I can make it look like something. Yeah, I don't think I pulled these patterns out in that intro, but this is the size and the shape of them. Uh, one of them is smaller somewhat than the rest of them. I've got them all mounted on scrap wood and got the holes drilled for the little eyes and the little spots between the legs. I'm going to go to the saw, I'm going to put in a number three, and I'm going to cut these out. All the material is pretty much the same width, which is the idea. I'm trying to stay with quarter inch so they would stack neatly. So let me get set up over at the saw and I'll start cutting them.
Okay, got it cut out. I've kind of got it mocked up there. That's not glued on yet. Got that board cut. I'm going to use a rounded uh, corners on it. There's the example they had in the book. And I'm trying to match that as best I can. Uh, it's a little bit off because I kind of bumped it when I was moving it in. But I'll line that out as I glue it. So the next step is I'm going to glue these on. And these last three, two of them I've got a half inch spacer. These two. And this one has a quarter inch spacer. So it's give it that 3D depth and they all line up the way they have them. So, and I'm going to put some spacer blocks on the back of this board. And the two blocks on the top, I'm going to put four of them, I'm planning. And two blocks on the top will have hangers on them. That's my plan right now. And so let me start gluing on this and try to get it lined up to look good. Well, there is more or less the finished product. I'm very pleased with it. It needs some more finish, but I'm out right now. I've got some more coming in tomorrow. But I'm going to call this good for purposes of this video. It uh, brings out the colors the way I want them. That's pretty much the way it's going to look with a little better finish on it. I've got a, a mounting system on it. It kind of holds it off the wall. And I'm going to hang it on the wall and take a photo of it and finish this video with that photo so you can see what it looks like there. Anyway, if you like that, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So you know when I come up with a new one, you never know what I'm going to do. I'm kind of in between series now, so I'm just kind of picking different things that I like. Uh, this was challenging to cut in some places, but not too bad. Uh, I think it came out real nicely. Uh, the different woods gave me some trouble. Some I wanted to cut different from others, but... Uh, that's to be expected when you're doing projects in different wood. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you in the next video.